morning. Uh, today we're going to take the derivative of y equals one half the natural log of one plus x over one minus x. We're going to use properties of logarithms uh, to make this an easier task. So we'll have uh, y equals one half and we have a quotient here. So I can say I can break this expression up into the natural log of one plus x minus, and then that one half distributes through, so don't forget that, uh, the natural log of one minus x. I guess I could have just left the one half out front, but who cares. Um, now we'll take the derivative. We say y prime equals the constant times one over the argument. Remember the derivative of the natural log of something is one over the argument times the inside, which is just uh, the derivative of one is zero, the derivative of x is one, and then technically it's one over the ln of the base, but the ln of e is just one, so we typically don't write it. Minus one half, uh, again, one over the argument is one over one minus x, uh, times uh, the derivative of the argument, which is the derivative of one is zero, the derivative of uh, negative x is negative 1. So now I can uh, simplify this a little bit. I get 1 over 2 times 1 plus x. Uh, negative times a negative is a positive. 1 over 2 times 1 minus x. I'll get a common denominator. A uh, common denominator will be 2 times 1 plus x uh, times 1 minus x. Uh, so over here I I need the uh, quantity 1 minus x, so I'll get 1, I mean y prime equals 1 minus x plus, uh, over here I'll need the quantity 1 plus x, 1 plus x divided by 2 times uh, 1 plus x times 1 minus x, and then simplifying, this of course is you know, these x's will cancel and I get y prime equals 2 over 2 and then 1 plus x, 1 minus x, difference of squares is 1 minus x squared and then a little bit more simplification can cross out those twos and we get y prime equals 1 over 1 minus x squared, much easier form, looks sweeter than that I think anyway or that so, thanks.